Hi, I'm Oriana Leo with the Red Carpet Report in Beverly Hills for NBC Universal's press tour. Now, on your show, Profit, um, you are essentially are rescuing failing businesses with your very own money. I am a budding entrepreneur. I love to read entrepreneur books, but I'm wondering, what is it that you're looking for when you approach a business and you're going to make that investment? Well, the first thing I'm looking for is character. Like human character, I don't. I want somebody that's got integrity and passion and a belief in what they're doing. And so, if they had the best product and they had the best process, they wouldn't really be coming to me. Sure. And so, I look at the kind of three pillars of people, process, and product. And if the first box of people doesn't check for me, I don't care how amazing the business is. I don't care how fantastic the product is. I'm out. And so, for budding entrepreneurs, they need to make sure that they have their themselves in check. They really feel like they can deliver a quality product of themselves. So that leads me to the next question is, for those of us that are looking to build a brand or build a business, do you have, what can we do to build up ourselves, if you will? Well, you have to be consistent about what you do, right? You have to have a social media platform, you have to have a product that people want. And so for you, your product is what? Myself. Right. My and image. So, that's right. And so you have to really be smart about how you deliver it, how consistent it is, and protecting it. Mm. And too often times, for someone like yourself, you'll get people that will try to influence you, get you to do something that you don't really believe in. For me, I've had a lot of people try to influence things that I say or things that I do. Mm. And I would encourage you to just stay to you, your belief in your core. And don't, don't, don't separate from So it, it sounds like authenticity is a key to good business. It's maybe the key to life, mm. right? You want to have a good relationship at home or you want to have a good relationship in business. That's the pillar that has to be right. So uh, on this show, are the viewers go going to learn anything about business when they watch this? I mean, I love watching these types of shows. Have I've only seen, seen your only seen your promo. Okay. Very exciting. It's something I really want to watch because I think I can learn from it. But for the viewers at home, what can they expect to take away when they view so it? So in the first two seasons that we did, we started last summer what I was shocked at is the number of people who said they'd learned really good business lessons from it. And so it's not a talk at you show, it's a talk with you show. I do a lot of infographics on the screen that explain P&Ls and balance sheets <laughs> and accounting and how it works in a debit and a credit. Because I think that we have to respect the fact that people may not have had the blessing of a formal education mm -hmm. or the time. And so you want to give them an education and have them feel like they walk away smarter, not insulted. And that's a very fine line. There's certain transformational shows that I watch where I watch them and stuff's flying around and I don't really learn anything and they told me they fixed the restaurant or the bar, I don't really know. Right. I wanna walk away and say, I learned a lot about inventory. I learned a lot about marketing. I learned a lot about my website or about my accounting. And if, if I make an episode where that fails, that's truly a failure for me and I'll keep, we'll keep shooting it until I feel like the lesson is learned which is expensive. It sure is. Is there anything that's different about this season than the previous two? Uh, no, because the show is relatively new and a lot of people haven't seen it, we're trying to stay consistent with our offering, which is deliver something that people feel like they get their, their you know, they get some value out of. What may be different is the businesses are a little bigger, mm. the money's a little bigger, yeah. uh, and I'm trying not to get in the habit of always feeling like I have to outdo myself. Deliver a good product, be consistent about it, if it's a hundred thousand or a million, the viewer just wants to learn and they want to be entertained. You can't forget it's TV. It is TV. I recently saw that you uh, are looking at Crumbs. I actually bought it. You did. Uh -huh. Congratulations. And so it unfortunately filed bankruptcy last Friday and so I'm buying the assets out of bankruptcy. And w the reason that I'm doing it is that three of the first 14 episodes were pie, ice cream and candy, uh -huh. and so they'll all be integrated into the, to the franchise. Oh, wow. And so it's really the first time that reality meets reality. Right. People are like, oh my God, that's genius. I'm and like, many people will be very happy that you are saving I the brand know. as well. I know, well nice meeting you. So nice meeting you too. Take Thank care. you. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit like, subscribe for more interviews, and leave a comment. Let me know which shows you're looking forward to watching.